ABC 50's Olivia Grant here with Mike Hazelwood from Woodboat Brewery. We are standing in front of all the tanks here at Woodboat Brewery. This is where all the magic happens. So can you tell me a little bit about what Woodboat Brewery is and how long you've been in business? Uh, been in business about four years. Uh, we, we try to make uh, fine craft beers. All of our beer is pretty much uh, uh, sold locally and I, I really don't care to expand how much we're making. I really just want to kind of keep it local. That way it'll draw people to the area. I'm not trying to, um, uh, I, I, I'm not, there's so many breweries, I'm not trying to compete with everybody or be the biggest brewery. I want a nice little small town brewery that people will come see here in Clayton. All right, Josh, come on over. Let's get a tour of this brewery and see what's going on in here. Where do we start off here? Well, basically, again, beer is water, so about 99% water. So we start with uh, our hot liquor tank. Hot liquor tank is where we take the water and we make it what we want for the particular beers. Sometimes we have to add some things. Uh, for the most part, we have really good water source here, so we don't add a lot, but uh, sometimes it's necessary. So then we go from the hot liquor tank uh, to over to our mash tun. So we, we skip this tank, we go to the mash tun. In the mash tun, we're going to mix our grain, our malt, with our, our hot liquor and in, in this tank and then we're going to put under our rest and in that rest we're converting the starches into sugars so that they can be fermented into the beer. We extract out of the bottom of this tank uh, from the mash tun and we put it into our boil kettle. Um, in the boil kettle, so we've taken just the sugar water from the bottom of this tank, all the grains remain in the tank. Okay. We take the sugar water, we put it into our tank, and we're going to put it through a boil process. And that can range from, you know, 60 to, to 120 minutes or whatever, but most of our beers are boiled for 60 minutes. In that 60 minutes, we add hops at different intervals to give different tastes uh, to the to finished product. So that's how you get the different types of beer then? Yep. Great. Yep, we use different malts. Uh, and different hops to make different t types of beer. And really at this point, uh, until we add the yeast, they could be ales or yager, lagers. There's only two kinds of beer, okay. ales or lagers. And, and what's the difference there? Just the different? The different yeast is what yeast. Uh, defines a, a, a lager from a ale. And for people who might not know, what's the difference in taste between an ale and a lager? Well, they can be very similar or they can be t totally different. Um, it's really just how they're fermented. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so after this boils, it then sits in the tank again for a while. From our boil kettle, we're gonna, it's coming out of that tank at about 215 degrees. We have to run it through our heat exchanger. Our heat exchanger will bring it down to our desired temperature immediately. So uh, for ales, uh, typically I want to come out of, uh, I want to go into my fermenter at about 76 degrees. So I'm gonna drop it from 215 degrees to 76 degrees rapidly and then directly into a fermenter. Okay. In the fermenter, that's where we add our yeast. Oh, okay. So uh, then you can see like this tank over here, for example, is fermenting. Uh, so we have a spill bucket and all the CO2 is coming out and it's bubbling in there and sometimes it makes a huge mess on the floor, <laughs> but that's a good sign. Uh, <laughs> and it's gonna stay in that tank. It's a temperature controlled tank for about two weeks. Okay. Um, and after, the, after it's done fermenting, after it's, it's flavor is good, everything's good, we put it into our bright tank. In the bright tank is where we're going to uh, carbonate it. For the most part, that's where we carbonate. It's a pressure vessel. So we're gonna inject CO2 and the CO2 micro bubbles, you know, the, ta the taste that you feel in your yeah, throat when you're yeah. taking the beer. And so we're gonna uh, carbonate it to our, to our level where we want it. And from there, it goes directly into the, uh, into the keg where we'll take it to the restaurant. So all the kegs go from there into, this, into our okay. keg storage room. Ooh, it's chilly. Okay, so we're in the, in, the keg, in the keg storage room. It's probably about 35 degrees in here. Um, in this room, we store all of our beer that's ready to go to the, either the restaurant, our restaurant or other people's restaurants. We also have some of our canned beers. We store all of our hops in here. Uh, so we buy our, our hops a year in advance. So, you know, all of our hops will be in here, uh, keeping cold so for storage. And we even keg condition or uh, uh, barrel age our beer in here also. Um, this, these barrels are from a local source right here at St. St. Lawrence Distillery down the road. So we use their barrels and, and condition our beers in their barrels. 
And so that's our bourbon barrel aged beer that we have on tap at our restaurant. Keeping it local, that's great. Awesome. Try to keep everything local. Our hops are all sourced local. We're, we're only required to use about 30% uh, of our hops is required to be local. Our, we're using currently 100% of our hops that are from New York State. So um, that's all. We're doing about 35% on our malt. Um, so we, keep it, we try to keep it as local as possible. Thanks so much for taking us through. You have some awesome beer, great local ingredients, and I think the best way to end off this segment is to go try some of it. So, Josh, come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, we have to try some of these beers. What do you got, Josh? All right, I have the Pardon Me Pale Ale. And I have the Channel Marker IPA. All let's right. try it. Wait, open it first. Okay, we need to do more stories on breweries. This is Absolutely. great. I am a okay Cheers. with this.